Hello everyone, today is day 20 of my 30 day SQL query challenge and in today's video we are going to find the median ages of different countries. Now as you can see we have been given an input table. It contains information about different people and their ages and the country they belong to. Okay, We need to find the median ages for each of the given country. Now, first and foremost, what do you mean by median? Now, some of you guys might get confused if it is same as average, but it is not. Now, an average is basically when you have a list of values, you sum all the values together and divide it by the total number of items. That is when you get average. Now, when it comes to a median with regards to a data set, you could basically say that you need to sort the data in a specific order and then you take the middle values okay, or the data that falls right in middle of that whole data set okay and this is basically what you could say like a median for example if i consider just the country poland you can see that i have age for six different people the first thing i will need to do here is to sort the data on the basis of age once i have sorted it then i need to take the middle value since i have six records the middle value would basically be the records three and four right so whatever value that falls between three and four is basically what my median value will be for this particular country same way for india you can see that i have six records so in once i sort this data based on the age whatever falls in the middle so it will be basically two records that will be the median value when it comes to usa since there are only five records the median value would be basically whatever comes in the third row okay of course after the data is sorted okay and then when it comes to japan again the value that is in the middle after sorting and when it comes to germany and malaysia because there are just two and one record the middle value would basically be all of this okay and that is exactly what is shown in the expected output so i hope you understood the problem statement you will now be able to download the data set from my blog as well as from my discord server and you can try to solve it on your own now if you are looking for an online course for learning sql as well as for practicing and solving a lot of different sql queries then a platform that i would highly recommend is learnsql.com now there are a few different reasons on why i highly regard this particular platform one of the main reasons is because of the hands-on learning experience that you get on this particular platform now just to show you how this hands-on learning experience looks like let me just go into the learnsql.com platform and from here let me just go into courses and here I have I think over 70 different courses to either learn the concepts or to practice solving SQL queries and let me just choose practice SQL okay now here you can see that every now and then maybe for some months or for different years and quarters there are new courses added with new uh, practice uh, problems okay for example if i take the latest one here that is this is a new course that was added for march 2024 it has some new set of sql practice problems and let's say if i click on continue you can see that most of the courses will start in this way so you'll have a quick introduction about what this course is about and what you will be learning and then because it is about practicing sql queries you have some tables that you need to first understand the data set right so on the right hand side here you will basically see all the different tables and some sample data for you to better understand on which data set you basically will be practicing and then here there are some explanation so there will be some explanation for all the different tables that will be used uh, in this particular course and once you have understood all the tables then comes the first task and as part of this task you basically need to solve a problem okay so you need to read to the problem statement and try to solve it using the data set that is already given now let's say if you are stuck you can look for the hint and get some information or if you have no idea you can of course ask to show the answer you can then see the answers okay and the same way you can then solve the second problem and the third problem and so on now if i look in this particular course i think i have around 15 different tasks which you can actually solve so this is basically how a course in learnsql.com looks like. Now, if you are interested in taking any of these courses, I'll leave a link in the video description. So definitely check them out. And thank you so much learnsql.com for sponsoring this video as well as for sponsoring a part of this whole 30 day series. Now, let me get back into solving my problem number 20. Now, I'm going to be solving this problem in PostgreSQL in PG admin tool. I have already created the table and you can see that I have 23 records, okay? Now, I told you in order to solve this problem, I need to take the data for each country and then sort the data. Okay, in this case, I need to sort based on age because I'm trying to find the median age, right? 
And then once I sort based on this, then I need to take the middle values, right? And here I have for data for different countries, right? So one way of doing this is probably I can give a unique number for each of these records by making sure that I also sort this data, right? And I do the same for every single country. So the best way of doing this is probably by using a window function, right? So I'll be using the row number window function and I'll say row number over I'll say partition by uh, country and order by age, okay? And this thing, I'm just going to be calling it like, let's say age rank. So by doing this, I will basically partition data based on each country and I will sort the data based on age and hopefully I'll get a rank value here, okay? Now you can see that Germany is coming at the top. I have the rank for India. You can see that the data is sorted and I have all of these rank values, okay? And the same thing for every country. Now what I need to do, for example, if I take India, from these six records, I need to take the middle two data, right? Middle two values, that is this age 33 and 38, right? So I can basically use a simple mathematical formula to fetch this, okay? Now in order to use this mathematical formula, first of all, I want to know totally how many uh, records are present for each country. Okay, so once I have that total number of records, then I can basically divide it by two. Okay, and so that I will basically be somewhere in the middle. So if there are six records, then if I divide by two, it will be three. So that means I need to fetch the record basically starting from three and then four. Okay, so I'll tell you a simple formula to do that. Now, first of all, I need to know the records in each partition. For that, I can just tell count of, let's say ID. Okay. And I'll say again, I'll just copy this whole thing because I want to partition the data based on country and sort it based on age. And this one, I'm just going to call it like total people. Okay. And okay, let me just run this. Now, if you just consider for India, you can see that I have this sorted data here and I have this count, but you see this count is not right. Okay. Ideally, I wanted the count to be six in all of these records. Now, this is not working because of the frame clause. So I will need to provide the frame clause here. Uh, and that is range between unbounded preceding and unbounded following. Okay. And now if I run this, now you can see for India, the count is six in all the records. Okay. And that is exactly what I wanted. Okay. Now what I want to do is I using this value here and using this value here, I want to fetch the middle value. Okay. So what I will do is I'll just put this into a sub query. Okay. Instead of using a CT because it's pretty simple. I'll just tell select and I just want to fetch the country and I want to fetch the age from this whole query. Right. So I'll just move this to the right and I'll call it like X. And here I'm just going to say where, uh, so what I want to do is this rank. So for example, if you just consider India, okay. And I'll just maybe filter the data for India. So I'll say where country equal to India, just so that I can explain you why I'm using this particular formula. Okay. I want to basically fetch these two records, right? I have total people as six. I have the age rank, basically it is a sequential number, right? A unique number for each row, right? Now I only want to fetch wherever this rank value is the total number divided by two, okay? And some variations to that. So for example, I'll just tell uh, where the age rank is equal to total people, total people divided by two. Now, if you see total people divided by two, I ideally for when I do six by two, I should get three, right? So, and then age rank, uh, if I say three, it will only fetch me this record, right? I do not want to fetch any, only the third record. I want to fetch third and fourth record, right? So what I'll do is I'll just tell wherever the age rank is greater than or equal to total people by two. Okay. That is my first condition. Or I also tell wherever the age rank is less than or equal to I copied this whole formula here. Okay, I put this inside the parenthesis. That is total people by two plus one. Okay, why? Because when I say total people by two, it is six by two is three. That is this one plus one is four. So either when the value is three or when the value is four. So hopefully I should be able to get these two records. Okay, now if I run this, you can see that, okay, I'm getting all the six records, but this is not what I want. I only wanted the middle two values. 
And the reason why I'm getting all the record is because I'm using the wrong operator here. I should be using the AND operator, right? It should basically fetch records where either it satisfies this condition and it should also satisfy this condition. So it basically be only the records three and four, not all the records, okay? Now, if I run this, now you can see that I'm getting the middle two records, okay? This is exactly what I wanted. Now, I showed you this data just for India, but let me also show you when I have, let's say, because I had even number of records, this formula worked, but what happens if I have odd number of records? For example, I think it is uh, USA. In case of USA, uh, so let's say I have totally five records, right? And I'll just put USA, okay? Uh, and when I say the total people, it will tell five, right? So five divided by two, ideally it should return uh, 2.5. But in PostgreSQL, since this is this is basically going to be an integer or I think whatever is written from window function, it's actually a big int, okay? So when I do big int divided by an integer or integer by integer, the result is always an integer, okay? It does not return the decimal values. For example, if I just tell select 5 by 2, it returns me 2. It Ideally, it should have returned 2.5. So that is why I need to cast it uh, to a decimal value. And now if I run, it will return me 2.5, okay? So in order to do that, I will just cast the value here, okay? So when I get this count of total people, I'll put a cast here as, let's say, int, okay? Uh, sorry, not int, but decimal, okay? And I think that's uh, all. And yeah, so now let me just run it. And you can see that I'm getting a USA 32. If I go back to my data for USA, uh, that is this one. So the middle record is this one, okay? And so I'm getting the correct record, okay? So now let me just filter this data for country and if I run it for all the data, now I think this is basically the solution to the problem. So I'm getting two records for Germany, two records for India, one for Japan because Japan there are only three uh, people. For Malaysia, the only record that was available. For Poland, two records. And then for USA, the only rec the middle record, okay, or the median record. So this is basically my solution to find median using SQL. Okay, I hope you like this problem. If you did, make sure to like the video. And I'll see you again tomorrow with another interesting problem. Bye.